English speaking course. I'm afraid of speaking English. Welcome to our new home, Chloe. What do you think? It's nice, but I am worried. My English is not very good. I'm afraid I won't fit in at school. Don't worry, Chloe. It will take some time, but you'll get used to it. You'll make friends, and your English will improve. Just be patient. I will try, Dad. Thank you. We're proud of you, Chloe. Remember, we're always here to support you. I miss my friends back home. I wish I could make some new friends here. You still have to go to school tomorrow, right? That's right. You will meet many new friends. Here, people are very open. I hope so. I will try to make friends and fit in. Ugh, I hope I can understand them. Hi, class. Today, we will start a group project. Please form groups of four. Oh, what should I do? Hey, do you want to join our group? Yes, thank you. We need a good idea for our project. Any suggestions? Okay, we need to find an animal with interesting characteristics. Only then will our presentation stand out. Exactly. What do you think, Chloe? Do you have any ideas? Um, maybe we can. Do a project about bats? Bats are active at night. They also typically sleep hanging upside down. That's a great idea, Chloe. Let's do that. So, we can start by studying bats and their habitat. Yes, and、uh, we can make a poster with pictures and information. Do you like drawing, John? Maybe you can help with the poster? Yeah, I like drawing. I can do that. Great. I think I'm pretty good at finding information, so I'll be in charge of that part. We still have roles to present and prepare a slideshow for Kylie and Chloe to choose. How about you, Chloe? What do you want to do? Um, can you give me time to think? I'll answer you this afternoon. Of course. Okay. We can meet after school tomorrow to work on it. Hi, Chloe. I'm Kylie. My family just moved in next door. I brought some fruit for your family. Oh, thank you, Kylie. I didn't expect that you would be my new neighbor. Come in, please. I noticed you seemed a bit nervous at school today. Is everything okay?、Uh, yes. I'm just not good at English, so it's hard for me to talk to people. Oh, I understand. Moving to a new place and learning a new language can be tough. I'd like to help you. Can I give you some tips? Yes, please. I would appreciate that. Okay, first, try to speak English as much as you can, even if you make mistakes. It's the best way to learn. For example, when you go to a store, try to ask questions in English. I saw that you wanted to say your idea this morning, but didn't dare, right? That's right. Thanks to you mentioning me, I was able to share my idea. When I spoke out, I found that speaking wasn't that scary. That's right. I'll try every day. Second, Listen to English music or watch English movies with subtitles. It helps you get used to the sounds and rhythm of the language. I'll bring some movies with English subtitles and we can watch them together. I'll explain what you don't understand. That sounds like fun! Third, don't be afraid to ask people to speak slowly or repeat themselves if you don't understand. Most people are happy to help. For example, it's me who's always willing to help you. Thank you, Kylie. These tips are very helpful. 
You're welcome, Chloe. Now, let's start with some practical exercises. When you go to a store, try to ask for something specific. For example, if you need bread, you can say, Excuse me, where is the bread? Excuse me, where is the bread? Perfect! And if they answer too quickly, you can say, Can you please repeat that slowly? Can you please repeat that slowly? Great! Now, let's practice the conversation. I'll pretend to be a cashier, and you can ask me for help. Okay, let's try. Hi, how can I help you today? Hi, um, can you help me find the bread? Sure, it's in aisle 5. Can you please repeat that slowly? Aisle 5. Thank you. Perfect. You're doing great, Chloe. I can see that you understand what I say. It's just that you lack confidence. And that's not a problem. The more you practice, the easier it will become. You make me feel so motivated. Oh, uh, about this morning. Can I take over the group's presentation duties? I want to try. Of course. That means you need to practice more. Please practice at home, and I'll come back tomorrow to help you. Thank you so much. Now, let's focus on your presentation. How do you feel about it? I'm still scared. What if I forget what to say or I make a mistake? It's normal to feel nervous. Let's work on building your confidence. First, remember that everyone makes mistakes, and that's okay. The important thing is to keep going. Okay, what should I do to feel more confident? The more you practice, the more confident you'll become. Let's go through your presentation step by step. Okay. You got this. Start with your introduction. Uh, remember to speak slowly and clearly. Good morning, everyone. My name is Chloe, and today I want to talk about bats. Great start! Now, let's practice making eye contact. Look at different points in the room, as if you're looking at your classmates. Okay. Bats are important to our world for many reasons. They help reduce insect numbers and spread plant seeds. That's great, Chloe! Now, let's add some gestures. Use your hands to emphasize key points. For example, a single bat can eat thousands of insects in one night, helping farmers by reducing the number of pests that damage crops. Excellent! You're doing so well! Remember to pause so your points are clear and to help you stay calm. Okay, I'll try. Let's practice a bit more. Imagine the audience is really interested in what you're saying. Smile and show them that you're excited about your topic. Thank you, Kylie. Your help means a lot. Here, use this mirror to practice. Look at yourself and practice speaking confidently. It can help you see how you're doing. That's a good idea. Thank you, Kylie. Let's try something different now. I'll ask you some questions and you answer them as if you're in front of the class. Ready? Oh, I never thought about that, but I'm ready. Okay, I can do it, Chloe. Chloe! Oh, what? We just want to say that you can do it. That's right. You've prepared the presentation well. Don't worry. Remember what I said? I got it, guys. Let me invite group five for the presentation. Good morning, everyone. My name is Chloe. I am the representative of group five. And today I want to talk about bats. She's doing great. She's no longer as self-conscious as the first day. Bats are important to our world for many reasons. They help reduce insect numbers and spread plant seeds. 
For example, a single bat can eat thousands of insects in one night, which helps farmers by reducing the number of pests that damage crops. And that's why bats are necessary to our world. They play important parts in our ecosystem and in our lives. Thank you. Excellent job, Chloe. You spoke very well. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you, Kylie. Thank you for everything. You're welcome, Chloe. I'm glad I could help. Friends support each other, right? Right. And now I feel more confident in speaking English. I'm so happy for you, Chloe. You did an amazing job. I want to thank you by inviting you to dinner with my family. Is that okay? Certainly. Welcome, Kylie. We're so glad you can join us for dinner. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. Chloe told us how much you helped her with her presentation. We really appreciate it. It was my pleasure. Chloe did all the hard work. She was amazing. Your tips and support made all the difference. How was your presentation, Chloe? I guess it's good, right? It went great, Mom. I was nervous, but I did it, and I got a good grade. That's wonderful, Chloe. We're so proud of you. I couldn't have done it without Kylie. She helped me so much. It sounds like you've made a good friend. Yes, I have. And now I feel more confident in speaking English. You know, Chloe, learning a new language and adapting to a new culture is not easy. But you've shown great courage. We're very proud of you. Thank you, Dad. I'm excited about the future now. And remember, if you ever feel unsure or need help, you have friends like Kylie and us to support you. I know, Mom. Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.